What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. Um, we basically uh, got the uh, we basically got the bucket we, from uh, Mayor Penguin after we visited Starborn Valley, but um this part uh, yeah, yeah, this is my favorite part of the whole game. We're gonna approach in Shiver Mountain and uh, It's just like I said my favorite chapter in the whole game, but uh, we're gonna do the bucket a cool bucket hat, thank you. A warm scarf, thank you. What a kind man you are, we thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we are rewarded with our secret. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowman. Anyway, so welcome to Shiver Mountain. Listen to this music, by the way. This is by far my favorite song in the whole game. It's the Shiver Mountain music and um, it's a fantastic song that not only get not only does it like give the um not only does it give the feel of like you're reaching the end of the game but also on top of that I remember being a kid and like being blown away when the, hearing the song for the first time and like I there were a lot of times in games where I used to go to areas just to hear the music and this place happened to be one of them all right so that battle just gave me the motivation to do a bad check um I don't think I need super jump charge for now, so um, Mega Quake should be fine. But um, where, else, where should I equip in its place? You see, like solid a solid badge lineup, but um, let's see what else. Um, hmm. I guess like um, I'm trying to think for a second. I don't think I need refund anymore, but uh, so we'll just get rid of that and. Uh, Let's do some double dip. I haven't pulled that badge out, but, um... Anyway, so, but yeah, by far, Shiver Mountain is my favorite area in the whole game. It definitely gives an end-of-the-game kind of feel, but, um... We're gonna make sure to not use that Ultra Trump because we're gonna need that later. Now, um... There's gonna be a new enemy coming up, but, uh, if we use Cooper... Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me. Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What? 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 That's impossible. I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper, really. Come on, Mario. You know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying, Mario. You know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody-goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why you, you're the one with just shut his mouth, I'm his buddy. Listen, moron, or Mario, you have to decide who's lying. I'm the one, you know, it's the only way, pick the one, you pick his line, rock from where they are at the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. If you trick, if you think you'll get away with the trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am, I believe in you, Mario. Yeah, what made you think I was the one lying, huh? It must have been luck, no one is in this that good. Don't be such a cryberry, baby, you lost. What were you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What, shut up, I'll trick you. Anyway, this is a new enemy. This is the Dupla Ghost. They have 15 HP, so uh, yeah, thank God we have uh, some attack up badges. So um, yeah, we already took that one out, but uh, yeah, and uh, their main powers that are the earlier attack you are they'll transform into enemies, so um, like right here, he transform, he'll transform into party members. So he basically transformed into Cooper. So I guess we can also keep Cooper out in a party because he uses less FP. By the way, this up here is uh, there's also a new enemy, but there's up this up here is the final the super block. So I guess we can ultra rank Bo. She is the final member we have not ultra ranked. Oh, 
Bo's now ultra rank, so yeah, I guess we can get out Cooper. But uh, when Bo's ultra rank, she can learn Fan Smack, which does 10 damage. But um, these are new enemies. These are um, these are the white clubbas. They're like the other clubbas, except they're stronger. And uh, wow, I cannot believe I missed that. But um, they like the white clubbas, only that they're stronger. And not only that, they will uh, attack multiple times. Yeah, that one, uh, that one's out. So, um, I think they also have 12 HP to be exact. But I'm actually almost out of here. But I have a bunch of life shrimps, but, um. We're already almost halfway to a level up. That's also great. We're also gonna, we're unfortunately gonna run out of opportunities to level up because uh, we are approaching the end of the game. I want to say like level 24, 25 is like the max level you can be in the whole game. But we need Bombette for the next part, so, um... In this area... I love this music, by the way. At last, it is Moy. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. Hmm, ho. Oh, do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madam Merlar. I'm the messenger of the stars. You know Merlar and Merle well. I'm their ancestor. The stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. They say you would come to the shrine of Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have a little time to waste. Listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace where stars are honored. Now, I have to now what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. I, in, the, in the interest of time, I'll, it'll be brief, so pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on this mountain one day. I ran there immediately, but it was actually, oh, such a sight. It was in the, it was in none of then. So then, then I. So that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace. But hey, you, were you even listening to my story? Well, okay then. As I was saying, you need you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. With this stone, you can open the way to Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Make haste. Hmm. Do you think understood my storm version of the tale? It really doesn't do justice. You know, perhaps one day I'll tell you the full story. Till then, good luck. Or the stupid dog barking as well. But um. Anyway, we got the Star Stone, so we can get to the uh, Crystal Palace. And I guess now we can actually... We're actually already close to Crystal Palace, so, um... What we're gonna do now is we're gonna place the Star Stone. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, um, I'm actually gonna try something for a second. Um, we're gonna put equip D down jump, but uh, um, I'm gonna try to see um, if I can do do a bad readjustment, but um, we'll, which we'll see for later. But um, let's see, I guess we can just go for pow I guess we can go for <laughs> for danger shots if we need them. But um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna approach the Crystal Palace. But uh, I'm doing a quick bad readjustment. Well, they actually, this enemy actually almost killed me, so I just mega quaked their ass, and I just used Danger Shroud. And if we go here, we get the Mega Jump Badge, which um, is a solid jumper, but the uh, problem is it uses 6 FP, so I prefer to stack attack badges and just use D-Down Jump. But if we go over here, if we go down here, we get a Star Piece. So, um, this is one of the la very last Star Pieces we'll be getting in the whole game. Aside from, like, Chuck Quizmo Quizzes, but, um, yes, yeah, so we have, like, 15 more Chuck Quizmo Quizzes, so, um... Yeah, so uh, I think if we, uh, we have a couple letter, we have one more letter left to deliver, but, um, yeah, we're approaching the end in terms of Star Spirit, so we just have to, um, 
So that's 16 more stars. So once we hit, I'd say the, the rest are in chapter seven. So, um. What we're gonna do now is, uh, we're also gonna heal, but, um. Hey, what the hell? I guess we can try to see what we can do in Crystal Palace. I don't think we're gonna do all of Crystal Palace, but, um, I love this music also. Yeah, it's a very, this whole chapter seven soundtrack is absolutely gorgeous, but um, this is why I recommend ripping Mega Quake, but um, and uh, we're just gonna Mega Quake their asses. The only problem with Mega Quake is that it does use like a seven, F, seven FP, so um, we should, we're, we're gonna approach a level up, so we should be fine on that. We have Voltrum, which we haven't seen one of those in a while, but um, those are also new enemies. They're like the bats in chap. They're like the swoopers in Chapter Two, only stronger, and they can. Uh, and if you get caught by them, you basically have to mash the button. So yeah, we got the we got the blue key. So what we're gonna do now is uh, try to see if we can get the uh, because there's gonna be a red key and a blue key. We cannot use the blue key on the red door, so I have to try to see what we can do with the blue door. I love the gimmick of this palace, by the way. It's like you can go inside the mirror, like um, eventually, like um, it's like there's like this whole this whole palace is like reflection based. I do like this the idea of this. I should also give a little bit of an update. So, um, I'm actually recording this the day after, the day before I recorded this. Uh, I recorded the last few parts uh, two days ago. So, um, yesterday I actually pre-ordered the Thousand Year Door remake. It's like I prefer to buy Switch games physical over digital. So, like, um, I swear to God, like physical copies were all sold out of pre-orders on Amazon. Like that came with such high demand. Like. Um, so like, um, I just had to pre-order it elsewhere. It's absolutely insane. Yikes, Mario's here. Well, we better beat him. So I think that's how I'm gonna tell that Thousand Year Door remake's probably gonna do well. But now we're just gonna lay down a body slam and, uh... I wanna try to see if I can get out of here without using much FP. I'm only gonna use it really on, uh, what am I trying to say, those swoopers, cause I, the only way I can really attack them right now is Mega Quake. Well, I can't with other party members, but, um, I just prefer to attack with Mega Quake. We are, we're, at, we're two thirds of the way to a level up, so that's already great. No, the real Mario is so strong. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now, well, there's actually a star piece I want to we want to grab that's to the left, so we might as well go grab that. I want to say, I want to say there's about three or four star pieces. There about there's a yes, yeah, so there's two more. So um, the rest are gonna be Chuck quiz mo quizzes or either just ones I forgot throughout the game. If you miss any of those star pieces, you can just uh, go to shooting stars. So I mean, get hints on where they are. But anyway, we get a super shrum. Okay, it's not here. All right, we just gotta. I want to see what's in here. I think there's also a couple of badges we're gonna have to get. So yeah, there's a shooting star. So we're not gonna need that. Actually, we're gonna need that. I take that back. We're gonna need that. We don't need a volt shroom. So uh, let's just get rid of that. Well, I guess, um, there's a magic, there's a red magic Koopa, so we can kind of, that's kind of a new enemy. We've already seen them before. We, we're going to start seeing them more frequently toward the end, but, um. All trick of the turn into Bombette is that if you power bomb them, they'll just instantly die. Yeah, we're already also a level up. Right, so we have to we have to go down here. I think it's either, I think it's a badge we get down here. Yeah, it's a badge we get down here. If we get we get the uh, P 
P down the up badge. Now there is a badge I'm gonna want to get over here, which might be why I'm gonna get rid of danger strat badges. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of danger strat badges so I can get room, make room for these badges. We're not gonna equip P down D up, but that basically lowers your attack by one, but raises your defense by one. But uh, by contrast, we also get a P up D down, and that's what we're also gonna equip that. Cause you know me with Paper Mario, with if you've watched this playthrough, which I really appreciate those that have watched all the videos, but um, I like to up raise my offense. That's why I was using danger strats for early portions of this game. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is uh, go down here because we still don't have access to the red door, so we might as well um, bomb here. What? Who are all you? You're all trying to look like me. Mario, don't tell me you could, which one is the real bot. Man, I, you can tell, right? Hey, I heard that. You're spreading lies, you imposter. I'm the real bombette. Oh, no, no. Mario, look carefully at me and you'll know. I'm the real bombette. It can only be me. These others are all liars. I'm the one. Mario, me. Don't fall for these tricks. I'll blow you up if you do. I, the real bombette, please. Trust your eyes, look at me. I'm not lying. No, I can't bear this. Mario, smash the impossible with your hammer. All you pretend to be me, you can't take another second. They're obvious which one's real and which one's not, but like, um, if you if you get the if you hit the real bombette, she'll, you'll have to fight these duplicates. So, um, if you read the dialogue, it's pretty obvious which one which one are the imposters, but um. If you hit me with a hammer, Mario was gonna bomb me the next time you napped. But you didn't. I was so happy you knew I was the real bombette. And she gives her gives us a kiss. That's nice. If we, if we go here, we get the uh, red key. So I guess I'll cut it off for this part of Paper Mario. So next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna finish the Crystal Palace and save the last star spirit. See you guys then.